Melbourne, there's a group of church leaders inside Liberal Party headquarters. And they're not going to leave until they extract a promise to defend the rights of children and stop them being sent to Nauru. Are they getting in the way of lawful activity? Yes. Are they defending the rights of the weak and vulnerable? Yes. Sometimes you have to break the law in order to do what is just. And there are some key reasons that so many people across such a broad spectrum of views have come together to oppose this legislation. Firstly, this legislation attacks the fundamental principles of our criminal justice system. The presumption of innocence is our primary protection in the criminal justice system. At the Moles Creek mine site, 25 religious leaders locked on because of the rape of the environment happening in that location and because of the destruction of Aboriginal sacred sites. These are people who are committed to their faith, committed to their communities, who are not afraid to flout the law if it means standing up for what is right. The legislation is drafted in such a broad manner that it is likely to be infringing our constitution. The legislation does not attempt to narrow the thing at all. Similarly, the, the, the new offences could impact the prevention of any lawful activity. It is simply not accurate to say that this legislation is targeted in any way, let alone, as the government claims, targeted at extreme actions or targeted at the prevention of uh, mining or targeted at lock-on. The legislation is not targeted in any of those ways. Around the country, six cathedrals and 80 other churches have offered their buildings and their people as places of sanctuary for asylum seekers at risk of being sent to Nauru. And when Border Force shows up at 3am, there's going to be grandmas standing in the way to prevent children from returning to that place and the horrific treatment that they will experience there and protecting vulnerable adults from the dehumanising and cruel policies of our federal government. It's undeniable that this legislation is targeted at a pre at peaceful protest. There's never been any suggestion that there was violence at James Price Point or in the forest, forest protests throughout the 90s and on to today. This legislation is clearly targeted at peaceful protest and that is the reason that the UN have spoken out raising their concerns about this legislation. And that's why the Anglican Social Responsibilities Commission and that's why the Uniting Church Synod of Western Australia, and that's why Baptist Care, and that's why countless Christians around WA are standing in solidarity with you people to say that we have to protect peaceful protest because sometimes governments act unjustly. And unless, Unless people like ourselves are willing to get in the way of that injustice, they will continue to act with impunity. We are seriously at risk of peaceful protesters going to prison under this legislation. We must stand together to oppose the bill. But together, if we stand together in solidarity, we can protect human rights and we can work together to ensure that uh, our environment is protected, Aboriginal sacred sites are protected, our rights at work are protected, and the rights of the most vulnerable and weakest people in our community are protected. Solidarity forever! Yeah.